Hello everyone. Um, it's like giving a lecture. I feel like uh, I should set your homework at the end. Uh, I'm here to talk about this. Um, we are heading up the technology part of the Blue Eden uh, development, uh, which is a reimagining of uh, Swansea's reimagining of the first lagoon project. Um, why is it called Blue Eden? Well, of course, we set out to build a kind of idyllic uh, environment where everybody could do what we need them to do, which is to work in these high-tech uh, facilities that we're building there and do a lot of educational stuff. And uh, we wanted to make sure that we keep the beautiful surroundings, which is Swansea Bay, um, uh, as a feature. So um, the name really depicts what we would like it to become very idyllic place to be. So I'll, uh, I think i got to move the slides myself. So why are we doing this? Well, we as a company are technology developers of batteries, uh, energy cells. Very specific batteries. Our batteries are sodium, uh, so they don't include lithium and uh, various rare earth metals. They are um, essentially 80% recyclable already. And they're much cheaper to make. Um, they're aimed specifically at green applications, as buffering things like um, wind farms and, and solar, so that we get a smoother, more predictable amount of energy uh, when we need it. And this is kind of important when we talk about things like tidal <coughs> lagoon and the tidal lagoon, because of course we can only, in the pre versions of that, draw our energy from that when the moon is pulling the water up and down, or when the tides are there. Uh, what we want, really want to be able to do is to be able to create uh, a situation where we can do it. So, um, our, one of our key drives is to, is to help um, uh, create momentum to, to make the change into, into renewables, which uh, benefits our cause as well as everybody else's. We really do believe um, that, you know, in this quote, you know, the, the, the economy and, uh, you know, our livelihoods and our ecosystems are all joined together at the hip. It's very important that we start to redress this balance between industry, production, energy storage, etc. And, 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 you know, really make living, surviving, and uh, everything uh, much more renewable. Let's talk about what is the Blue Eden project. We're going from one side to the other. Uh, you can obviously read on the screen what it uh, talks about. If we go from this side here, you start off with the, um, with the battery storage facility, which is um, uh, 1.2 <coughs> gigawatt hours. Now, to give you an idea, that will store, that battery farm there will store the entire energy of the lagoon production, uh, uh, energy production per day will be stored in that box, if you like. So the box is built in a, in, a, in a place which replenishes the site. It's where the old BP oil tanks used to be, which is a piece of land can't really do much with, so it's perfect. And it's located, of course, by the uh, power station, not far from the power station. Uh, then moving across from there, uh, you've got the three buildings, which, which are um, our uh, battery manufacturing plants. And that's where it all started. It all started, we wanted to find a place to put our battery manufacturing, uh, which is now being upgraded, I believe, to 15 gigawatt uh, plant, uh, sodium. And that will um, that'll be powered by you know, this sun, should we manage to get it all in place. Right next to that, you have 72,000 square feet, square meters rather, of, of uh, floating solar. Uh, now that's uh, um, uh, designed and made uh, in conjunction with some seriously good designers from the Netherlands, um, uh, Blue 21. And then in phase one, you've got the data center and uh, uh, the dome shape the structures are a foundation that we're putting together with the universities for education. It will be called something nice, but at the moment we refer to it as the Oceanic and Climate Change Research Center and its labs and things to um, uh, further research and development. And then finally, um, uh, we need 5,000 extra people in Swansea and of course, uh, we need to help expand the region. So we're redeveloping some of the land there for houses. So I can't point at it for you, but in the middle bit, as we come across from this side, uh, is affordable homes. Uh, we've spent a lot of time working on 
uh, making it uh, uh, affordable. Then you have a, a block, the two blocks in the middle, which are assisted living. And then, of course, as you go down to what was the old ferry port, um, uh, then you have uh, the, the um, uh, you know, more of a luxury and standing uh, kind of arrangement with a few shops and various things in there. And you'll notice where the Oceanic Research Centre is, of course, we've got this uh, swathe of land, which under the current rules, we were able to generate, to reclaim and generate, to make a, what is a, 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 a very substantial park, uh, which we're going to give back to the region, uh, so that they can use it for whatever, whatever recreational means they think uh, is appropriate. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of development, a lot of investment in that. That's, this is what it looks like in close-up, the land base side. Of course, we have a big lagoon, which powers it, 350 megawatts. Um, so uh, there are publications that you can get for more detail, and uh, um, uh, there are details on our stand. If you want to go down and visit the BST battery stand, you can get all the details you need for in-depth breakdowns of what's in this. Of course, I've only got 10 minutes. We're probably running out. Um, we are very excited to be doing this. We built it around the people, so I'll give you some very quick stats. 5,000 people's homes. 1,080 jobs. 1,080 jobs created in the battery factories. 2,500 jobs created in total. The research center, and of course, we then want to spend a lot of time and effort, and have spent a lot of time and effort, uh, um, uh, designing in uh, great environmental looks and feels, and uh, you know, environment enhancements to the environment. Just really keep it in keeping with, with what the, the Swansea Bay is a beautiful place. And then, of course, you know, education being a, a very important part of the end. So we're working very closely with Swansea, Trinity, everybody we can, including international universities, which we're bringing in, starting from West Virginia, Caltech, um, programs that we intend to run with at MIT and, and so on. Essentially, it's all about batteries, as we said. Uh, again, uh, for more information on the sodium batteries and, and, and the solar carports which are coming out, you'll be able to go down to the battery um, stand, which is on the floor downstairs, and a lot of great people that I brought along will be able to fill you in on the details of that. We are, you may have seen, very quickly, you may have seen an announcement that was put out by Swansea Council. We've agreed terms uh, on uh, the land which is adjacent to the ADP port. And we will actually be building this. Now, we're currently applying for planning permission. This will pro provide thousands of, uh, of um, uh, um, hundreds of other jobs, and it will provide uh, um, the first, the hub, charging hub, parking, utilities, and everything for the first battery factory. So we're very excited to do that. And uh, as I said, we've, uh, as we've announced yesterday, I believe, that we've already agreed to terms. And uh, plan of permission is in for all of this, but specifically this part as it stands at the moment. Um, downstairs, you can look at models which describe these, and you can look at these batteries. So, everybody, this is not jam tomorrow. This is this. Yes, the lagoon will take us 12 years to build. Phase one is five years, the, or the, the 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 Blue Eden site will be five years for the first bit, two years for the second bit, five years for the last, but 12 years for the entire project. But of course, these facilities, the, the batteries, the charging stations, the car charging ports, the um, uh, various uh, technologies, they are available now, and all of that production is in the process of being transferred to Wales. So in the very near future, we'll be making an announcement, hopefully about agreement with the Welsh Government, to build a 40 megawatt um, uh, battery facility in Bridgend, in Pencold actually, and that will be the training and feeding uh, location uh, for the for the Blue Eden facility for the production facilities there. That is it um, from me. I just want to say thank you very much for listening to me. I hope that's been informative. And if there's anything we can help you with, if there's an information, or you'd like to work with us, or you'd like to work for us, of course, we <laughs> we really need people, and this is all about people. Um, we 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 have most of our investment cleared. For all of the first stages we talked about, so we would love to hear from you if you would love to get involved. Thank you very much.